Hello, my name is James J. Chenzor Chen, one of the commentators you can select for color commentary in Street Fighter VI. Let's continue looking at how the frame meter can help us when learning our characters. Uh, if you haven't seen the first episode, I really do recommend you watch that first. Uh, the link is in the description below. Okay, so in the last episode, I mentioned that the frame meter can help you learn how to put together combos, and a lot of people were very interested in this concept. Uh, before we begin, however, I just want to establish that in Street Fighter VI, there are three core combo methods in the game. Links, cancels, and juggles. The frame meter will not be helpful with juggles. I just want to establish that right away. But for links and cancels, the frame meter is extremely useful. Let's start with links. Uh, linking is the ability to use two moves back to back that will both hit the opponent once the first one connects, just because the frame data allows it. Uh, this is about as simple as it can get, and is just about finding matching numbers. Having access to all of the frame data via the frame meter makes this as easy as possible. In the last video, we talked about this number here that indicates advantage. In order to perform a link combo, you need to find a move that gives you advantage on hit, uh, aka your plus on hit. The bigger the number, the better. Uh, once you see the advantage number here, it's as simple as finding another move with a startup that is the same number or less. Remember, in the last video, we talked about the fact that the startup number listed above the frame meter is always one higher than the actual total number of startup frames? Well, this is one reason why. It just makes finding links a lot more intuitive, looking for matching numbers or less. There is another reason, but that will come at a later time. So as you can see in this example here, Cammy is plus seven uh, from her crouching heavy punch on hit. So now all we have to do is find another attack that has that same number as its startup or less. Her crouching medium punch happens to have a startup of seven frames. That tells us that distance pending, the two moves can link together back to back to form a combo as seen here. The active frame of the second move hits before the hit stun of the opponent finishes from the crouching heavy punch, leading to a combo. So here's another example with Ryu. Uh, you'll notice that his standing heavy kick is plus 9 on hit. You'll also see that his crouching heavy kick, uh, his sweep, has a startup of 9 frames. And you can see that these two moves will link as a combo, as expected. However, just to show you an example of how the frame meter helps, uh, I was trying to find other moves that comboed after the heavy kick, and I noticed that his level 1 Shinku Hadouken has a startup of 8 frames. That means it should combo, right? Well, it does, and this can all be figured out so quickly thanks to the frame meter. However, uh, earlier I used the phrase distance pending. Uh, some moves like the Shinku Hadouken take time to travel. So even though the frame data says it should connect, at ranges where the opponent is too far away, it takes too long to reach the opponent so the opponent can recover in time to block it. Also, in many instances, moves that link at close range will miss at farther ranges. So you will have to take ranges into account uh, as well as just uh, the hardcore numbers. So uh, allow me to stray from the frame meter just a little bit here. Uh, I want to remind everybody that there are ways to increase the hit stun of your moves that allow for more versatile combos. Uh, normals performed during a drive rush automatically gain four extra frames of hit stun. Normally, Cami standing heavy punch is plus two on hit. During a drive rush, however, you can see that it's now plus six on hit. Also, both types of counters give you extra hit stun as well. Uh, counter hits, aka hitting the startup frames of your opponent, gives two extra frames of hit stun. So now you can see Cammy standing heavy punch is now plus four on a counter hit. 
but punish counters uh, hitting the opponent out of their recovery frames gives four extra frames of hit stun. So here you can see standing heavy punch is now plus six thanks to the punish counter. But there's something important I want to make sure is understood. Uh, these bonuses are additive. Uh, although you'll never get a counter hit and a punish counter at the same time, a normal done during a drive rush plus either type of counter adds their bonus hit stun frames together. In this instance, when Cammy uses her standing heavy punch, which is normally plus two, uh, in a drive rush and lands it as a punish counter, it gets both plus four bonuses uh, from the drive rush and from the punish counter. And now the standing heavy punch is plus 10 on hit with its natural plus two and then plus four and another plus four. The reason why I wanted to point this out in this video is when you're trying to find links for your characters, you know, I just want to make sure you try finding links that work off of these specific situations as well uh, to maximize the amount of damage you can do on your opponents. Again, with the frame meter, it's the exact same process, which is just finding a move that has a startup of that same advantage number or less. Uh, the only thing that changes is the advantage number so you can link stronger moves. So as you can see, the frame meter makes finding links so easy. Uh, all of this stuff can be found organically as we used to do in the past just by trying combinations of moves and seeing which ones comboed. Uh, but the frame meter makes it so exact. It makes it an exact science that we can take human error out of the equation. If the numbers say it works, we know it works. So let's move on to cancels, shall we? Canceling, also known as buffering in the fighting game community, is the ability for a player to cancel a normal move into a special move without needing to let the normal move finish at all. Uh, you are literally interrupting the first move into the second one instantly. The most famous of these is Ryu's crouching medium kick canceled into a Hadouken. The frame meter will also be able to help us figure out what combos on cancels. It is pretty easily tested manually, but the frame meter allows us to know exactly what we are looking for. And just as a little history lesson, Street Fighter players have never had this ability available to us before the frame meter, as most frame data charts don't show us the hit stun and block stun lengths of moves. In this example with Cammy again, uh, we can see that her crouching medium punch causes a hit stun of 22 frames. That means when canceled, all you need to do is find a special move with a startup fast enough to hit before that entire hit stun finishes. Keep in mind, however, that the special move doesn't start until after the initial frame of contact, but the hit stun starts right away. Thus, in this instance, we do have to find moves with a startup less than the hit stun. I call this the cancel tax. So instead of finding a move with a startup of 22 frames or less uh, that match a hit stun of 22 frames, we need a move that actually has a startup of 21 frames or less thanks to the cancel tax. Well, the light spin knuckle just happens to have exactly a startup of 21 frames, which means this should combo, and it does. Now, let's look at Cammy's back plus medium punch. Here, we notice that the hit stun length is 21 frames. That means the light spin knuckle has too long of a startup to combo on a cancel, as now we would need something of a startup of 20 frames or less. And sure enough, as we see here, that's the case. The opponent can block the attack in time, and we can see that here uh, on the frame meter. <laughs> okay. Uh, unfortunately, life is never this easy. And we have to look at some very weird examples and exceptions that throw all of this for a loop. <laughs> some moves, I'm guessing, uh, the devs just did not want to be too strong and combo into certain specials. Uh, let's look at Cammy's crouching medium kick. 
it produces the same amount of hit stun as crouching medium punch at a length of 22 frames. So it should combo into the light spin knuckle, right? <laughs> or not? Um, so what gives? <laughs> well, thankfully, the frame meter can tell us that answer as well. Uh, another bit of information easily gleaned from the frame meter that baffled us for a lot longer in the past. Uh, if you look here, for no other reason than the devs just wanted it this way, Cammy's crouching medium kick, even when canceled as early as possible, will always wait until its last active frame before it actually cancels into a special move. Thanks to the hit stop on the first active frame, it's very clear that I've hit the button for the light spin knuckle on that first active frame, but the frame meter shows us that the cancel doesn't actually start until Cammy's last active frame, no matter how early I do it, causing us to lose two frames of hit stun. So this will, in fact, not combo into light spin knuckle since we have to wait two more frames before the special move starts. So crouching medium kick needs special moves with a startup of 19 frames or less, despite the hit stun of 22 frames, uh, losing one frame by cancel tax and two more frames by the forced late cancel. Again, my guess is that they didn't want Cammy to be able to do crouching medium kick into light spin knuckle and have it combo since crouching medium kick reaches much farther than crouching medium punch. And they felt like having access to having crouching medium kick into light spin knuckle as a combo from that range would be too powerful, especially with a move like light spin knuckle that can't be punished on block. And they wanted to maintain the hit stun length for achieving specific advantage numbers when the move isn't canceled and having an exact total of number of frames for when the move whiffs, uh, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> for the devs, it's a very tricky dance, manipulating these numbers to get exactly what they want. And they found lots of interesting ways to facilitate it, such as this uh, forced late cancel. One of the new systems in Street Fighter VI is the Drive Rush Cancel, and we can actually calculate what will combo off of a Drive Rush Cancel in the exact same way we calculate the standard Normal Moves to Special Moves Cancel. The only extra thing required to figure out is how many additional startup frames are required before you can perform a normal attack out of a Drive Rush Cancel at its fastest speed. Fortunately for you, you don't have to do that, because I already have. <laughs> At its fastest speed, Drive Rush cancels add nine frames of startup to all normal attacks. You'll see on the frame meter that they actually blend the startups together and count the entire block of startup frames in the frame meter bar. But if you examine it, the number of startup frames you see plus the first active frame for the FGC convention will always have nine more boxes than the number listed as the startup above the frame meter. The beautiful thing about this count of nine frames is that it makes calculating what combos off of a drive rush cancel so easy to figure out because if we include the one frame of cancel tax, which applies here, you can now just look at the hit stun length of any cancelable normal and know that anything with exactly 10 frames or less for startup will combo off of a drive rush cancel, nine frames from the added startup and one from the cancel tax. So let's look at these examples. We'll turn to Zangi for this one. Notice his standing light kick causes a hit stun length of 17 frames. Again, with our easy math, subtract 10, and that means we need normals with seven frames of startup or less to combo for a drive rush cancel. Zangief standing light punch and standing light kick both happen to have startups of seven. So you can see that standing light kick drive rush canceled into either of these connects as a combo. On the other hand, Zangief's crouching medium punch, which has a startup of eight frames, won't combo as you can see here. Let's give one more example to show how simple this is. Kimberly's standing medium kick causes a hit stun of 22 frames. So again, subtract 10, and we need a normal of 12 frames or faster for a combo off of drive rush cancels. 
Kimberly standing heavy kick is exactly that 12 frames of startup. So as we can see here, it combos. And again, to tie in my aside from earlier, don't forget drive rush normals give extra hit stun as well. So here, Kimberly standing heavy kick has a plus 11 advantage instead of its standard seven frames because it comes from a drive rush. So now using what we learned from links at the start of this video, we look for anything with 11 frames of startup or faster to combo after that to build a stronger combo path for Kimberly. Alas, again, <laughs> Capcom just didn't want to make it easy for us. And in some instances, we get the same type of forced late cancel for drive rushes that we got on special moves. Cammy's crouching medium kick has the same late cancel frame on its third active frame for the drive rush, just like it has for the special move. However, the part that makes it even more maddening is that some moves have different late cancel frames for special moves than for drive rushes. For example, Cammy's standing light kick has a forced late cancel on the third active frame for special moves. But for drive rush cancels, it is a forced late cancel on the second active frame. Uh, again, there's no real way to know which moves have which frames for force late cancels outside of just experimenting. But again, knowing which exact frame is being canceled is extremely unimportant. What's more important is that you just figure out what combos into what, cancel window be damned, and just remember your combo paths in the end. As I mentioned earlier, one of the most important types of combos in Street Fighter VI are the juggles. But again, the frame meter won't help us there. Juggles are their own beast. They have a ton of their own rules, and the frame meter doesn't give us any of that information. But again, for the links and for cancels, it can help us figure out what connects into what very quickly and easily and makes finding out what combo routes work for your character much simpler. So good luck experimenting with your characters and finding uh, your own combos. And uh, thanks for watching part two of the frame meter tutorial. Yes, this means there will be a part three coming soon uh, as well, all about the concept of turns. And will probably take me another couple of weeks to put together. Uh, so keep an eye out for that here. Uh, make sure you like the video and subscribe to see when part three drops. Uh, please leave a comment below and let me know if this video helped. Again, this is James J. Chenzor Chen. You can catch me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash jchenzor, where I really enjoy teaching beginners how to play fighting games live on stream, as well as twitter.com slash jchenzor for all my FGC thoughts. Thank you and have a good day.